come with us today to discover five do not miss adventures in Saxony, Germany. Saxony, man, it's amazing. We should, we should begin this episode by like apologizing to Germans. Yes. We apologize. We apologize if we for butcher butchering your language. And sorry that the only German I know is das ist gut, wunderbar. <laughs> so he'll just say that over and over again. The final <laughs> countdown. Ah. Hi everyone, welcome to Learning Brave. I'm Skylar. I'm Ross. And today we are taking you to Saxony, Germany. And we're going to share our top five adventures to have in this amazing part of the world. We love Saxony. It's a beautiful place. We love Germany. We love Germany. Anytime we left Germany and then came back into Germany, it was like, <sighs> we're back in Germany. Yeah, like sometimes we'd like pick on Germany a bit because we were like, oh, so many rules and like, I don't know, we just like make fun yeah, sometimes. But, but we loved was, it. It was so orderly. We kept, we, we just kept coming back. Like I feel like our trip was like, like in and out of Germany. We loved it. First place. First number one. Dresden. Dresden is amazing and we actually have a special place in our heart for Dresden because it was the beautiful Frauenkirch that I'm saying wrong. You said per it was perfect. Frauenkirch. Frauenkirch. That it was a story about this amazing building in Dresden that actually took us to Europe. In the first place, yeah. Yes. We were at home in Australia deciding what are we going to do next and we were watching a television program where they showed pictures of the Frauenkirch because it had actually been bombed and destroyed during World War II and they had rebuilt it with some of the original bricks that were all black and, you know, small, not, well, not smoldering. smoldering. They went smoldering intensity. They were not smoldering, they were <laughs> smoldered. Yeah, we heard this blackened bricks. We heard this beautiful story about how the Frauenkirch was reduced to rubble and it was rebuilt and they included some of the smoldered bricks. Smoldered. Not smoldering. Past tense. And, um, and it's now part of the beauty of the building. And yeah. it was just so inspiring. And we were, we were listening to this story and we like looked at each other. And we we're like, Europe. And the Germany next and we, the next day we booked tickets. We booked tickets. Yep. So it, it was really the it's really the start of that European dream for us. The so, Frauenkirch. Yeah. So it was special to go there. We had to go to Dresden. And we did. We got to go to Dresden. And it was a very rainy, cold day, but still it's such a beautiful city. The Frauenkirch was beautiful and we got to have a photo outside and we got to go inside and you weren't meant to take photos sneaky one we did and in because inside looked different to like most other churches i'd seen in europe it was really light and pastel it was beautiful yeah. so beautiful it wasn't it wasn't really dark like a gothic cathedral because a lot of those are very dark and but this was very different wasn't it yeah, it was gorgeous yeah. and when in saxony and germany eat Oh, what are they called? Bratwurst. Bratwurst. Beautiful. <laughs> Everywhere you go, you can find bratwurst. Yeah, if you're hungry, there's a sausage. Oh. Anytime you're in Germany, you never need to worry about being hungry. Just eat sausages yep. constantly. Big fat ones, skinny dry ones. Keep wrapped, them in the car, keep wrapped, them in your handbag. Wrapped in bacon. Feed them to your baby. We lived on sausages. In fact, I was like, at one point I was like, I'm done. Never eating another sausage ever I, again. I remember that. I, like, I was totally like, I'm had enough. Hey, guess, eat what, nothing but sausages. guess what we're having for dinner tonight. But then, <laughs> but then um, my family found cheese filled bacon wrapped sausages and I was all in again. So <laughs> I can be bought with bacon. And there cheese. is always another level of sausages you can attain. <laughs> so there's the Frauenkirch in Germany and the other thing we recommend Sorry, in Dresden. The other thing we recommend in Dresden is the Zwinger. Zwinger, which is really the um, it's it's the center of the the old Saxon, I guess, geographic area. You know, the, Dresden is the capital city of Saxony, 
And so and the zwinger was the heart. It's the heart of it. It's where the royalty lived. And so we had to visit the royal palace, didn't we? And we were with some German friends and I was like, I need to see the zwinger. And they were like, zwinger. And I was like, okay, zwinger. And they're like, how do you know about the zwinger? And I was like, Pinterest. So <laughs> we went to the zwinger and our kids played chasey all around the gardens. Not sure if that was allowed, but that's what we did. Well, I remember it. I remember it because we'd visited other castles and other sort of seats of, of power in Europe. But this one had a lot of gardens. Yeah, it was I remember, it's beautiful. Yeah, it was. And the gardens were inside the courtyard rather than outside the, the house. So it was... It was a really beautiful place. So number one, Dresden. And when you're in Dresden, eat some sausages, visit the Frauenkirch, be totally inspired and change your life, and the Zwinger. The Zwinger. Number two, the Bastai Bridge. Now, this began as a fabled photo that I found on Pinterest. It was the Pinterest bridge. Yeah, so in theme with me chasing down Pinterest images, we actually, once in Germany, I found this magical bridge and we tried to find it and we never found it. And I ended up being insulted and someone asked me if I was pregnant and I wasn't pregnant <laughs> and I wasn't very happy. <laughs> that happened, but this time it was really beautiful and, and we found some directions through Pinterest and in, in, we went to the Bastai Bridge. Yeah, the Bastai Bridge actually located very close to Dresden in a part of, of East Germany that's called Saxon Switzerland because it was it looked a little bit like Switzerland. It had these beautiful mountains, although having been to Switzerland... Yeah, like really high heights and green grass. Yeah, yeah. And, and just sheer drop, you know, and it was all on the banks of the Elbe River. It was just amazing, beautiful scenery. So we found it. We found the fabled Bastai Bridge. The Bastai Bridge looks like a giant made it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Like with big stones and this like crazy as like, and it's almost like it goes nowhere. Well, it, like, it, it, it juts out from the end of this precipice and it sort of spans from the precipice to these freestanding rock columns all over <laughs> the place. And it's like, it's like these bridges go to all these different rock columns. It's amazing. Yeah, super cool. I mean, there used to be like a castle there or something, but yeah. that's gone and now it's just this bridge right up there in the mountains well, made by a giant. There are many sort of parts of the bridge too isn't there you can go all the way out and you can have these amazing scenery over the the elba river valley and it's just gorgeous and we were very our story is that a baby fell asleep oh thankfully and so there was no crying during that journey that's why but, it was so memorable yes that's why we're smiling <laughs> about that memory it's we have screaming. we have wonderful pictures from there too oh yeah we we're all smiling so nice and like, I don't know how I'd feel now if I went there with like my crazy toddler who mm. likes to leap off edges. It's a little bit steep, but we'd probably it's need to have, awesome place. have one of those leashes. Just make sure they we don't have fall to their death. We have one. <laughs> Number three, Berg Stolpen. Yes, that is Stolpen Castle. Which not is a burger. Not a burger. Mm, meat. No, nothing to do with... Stolen burgers. Yeah, it's Berg Stolpen, which is a short trip from Dresden. It was a 13th century, or it is a 13th century uh, medieval castle. And we are going to make the claim that it is one of the best and coolest medieval castles to visit in Europe. Yeah, we've been to a lot of them and this one was absolutely amazing. It was actually very engaging for the kids too. Oh, there yeah. was like secret tunnels museums like torture chamber museums down under the yeah there was treasure and there was like yeah it was so cool and they were like like across the same tunnels and we were like pretending we were trolls and from lord of the rings <laughs> oh, me. Oh. and it was awesome it was so cool it had it all and the cool thing was that it wasn't like super busy it wasn't like a massive tourist attraction and and it overlooked the small um, German town of Stolpen and we really just had when we were there we had like 
the run of the castle. There was barely anyone else. There. Yeah, I think it's one of those hidden gems. Yeah. It even has a creepy ghost story about the Countess Vin Kossel, who was imprisoned in Bergstolpen for 49 years wow. in the 18th century. Just check my facts. She was imprisoned for 49 years in the 18th century. So creepy. Number four, the Leipzig Zoo. The Leipzig Zoo is not very far from Dresden and it is one of the best zoos in the world. It has like this Amazon river trip that you can go on and it, like, and it takes you like through all of creation. It's so cool. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a journey from the creation of the world through the present time. And they've done a great job. Like it was sort of a combination between being at Disneyland and being at the zoo. Yeah. Because like mean, Disneyland's rides have all got fake animals. This had real animals, which was amazing. Yeah, it was a bit like a jungle ride in Disneyland. But yeah. Like without the animals. <laughs> and there was animals. But it had like projected stuff and it was really cool. And I mean, it would have been like a perfect day out, except we do have a tip if you are going to the Leipzig Zoo and you have a crawling baby, every surface of the ground is gravel. Yes. There's no grass, <laughs> which is challenging when you have a crawling baby who wants to wiggle around and like cries if he doesn't get to crawl. <laughs> so it's gonna, it's a bit of a stroll the day. Yeah, we had a challenging day when we went to the Leipzig Zoo. But maybe, it, maybe they've changed it. Maybe. It's maybe. still like one of the top zoos. It's oh. just not the top zoo for like luscious grass. Or for toddlers. Yeah, but other than that, it's awesome. <laughs> Number five. This one is a bit of a hidden gem in Saxony. Um, it's actually the Gulch Viaduct Bridge, which you wouldn't normally see on like a, an itinerary, postcard itinerary, right? But this bridge, we act I actually found accidentally, I was driving with my children and I was driving along the road and I saw this amazing, huge brick bridge. I was like, what is this? So we pulled over Found out that there was like a park there and you could stop and and then I started to learn the history of this bridge. It was built in 1831 and at the time it was the largest bridge in the world. Yes, in the world. Largest brick built. Bridge. Well, it still is the largest brick bridge in the world, but at the time it was the largest bridge anywhere in the world in 1831. Yeah, we love finding hidden treasures oh, that are a bit more unknown, so it's, fun. It's like five, it spans like this ravine, or, or yeah, it spans this valley of 574 meters, which is huge. That's like, that's over that's over 1500 feet for, for Americans out there. And it's 78 meters tall. And so it's got like layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of brick sort of architecture of this bridge. It was fascinating. It was amazing. Fascinating. It was fascinating. fascinating. I spent the whole afternoon there with my kids just looking at this and, and going to the little park nearby. And yeah, it was it was a real little hidden gem. But I, for anyone that loves architecture or loves trains, this is not to be missed. Thanks for joining us today for our five best places to visit in Saxony, Germany. Hopefully we've got you dreaming about visiting this amazing part of the world. And thank you for joining us on like our travel from home. <laughs> Hopefully you're enjoying traveling with us. And if you have any more questions or if you'd like to see more, go to learningbrave.com. Thanks everyone. See you later. Bye. We are so in sync. Pepper Woods. <laughs> Next, sausages. I wish we could do this kind. I can. Did you know that I can do it? I can't do it. Ready? <laughs> you just like that looks fancy. Ready? Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. We love you, Germany. Yes, we'll we love you. We'll be back you. one day. Yes, we will.